what is going on youtubers i do apologize folks so i just got back from an alaska trip there was a billion coffers at the airport and even though i wore a face mask of course i came home with a freaking cold or whatever so i got a super bad sore throat my head is spinning but i did want to get a video out for you guys uh i got a few things to show you so i did get another coldest water bottle got this in the mail today check that out this one has a a lid so 21 fluid ounces so same size as this one but i don't have to unscrew it to drink from it so this will be easier drinking so you guys can use the code flankster uh, to get 10 percent off the coldest water bottle uh so one thing i'm highly considering right now is the life-size endoskeleton by sideshow collectibles now i found it for quite a good price basically retail with free shipping uh, so, for you guys who don't know that, it's about $7,000, which is the most expensive statue I've ever have bought if I buy this. Prior to that, the most expensive is Wonder Woman Horse, which was $6,000, and I have multiple $5,000 statues. You know, he, like, he was uh, $5,250. So, I've sold my half-scale endoskeleton. It is gone. I don't have my one-fourth. I'll eventually sell that Arnold one-fourth. But right now, this is kind of what my plan was because I didn't think I'd find the life-size endo. So I'm just going to make it simple, keep it like this. One-third Arnold T-1000 bust wall-mounted, call it a day for Terminator. Now I have the opportunity to buy the T-1000 for a good price, so I'm highly considering it. Now if I'm going to get it, I'll need to A, sell that because I don't need it anymore since I'll have a life-size. B, I got to find space for the T-1, the T-800 life-size, which is... A massive space hawk. So it's six foot four, 77 inches, same height as me, 38 inches wide, and 28 inches deep, at least according to Sideshow specs, but I think the guns stick out even further. So the only reasonable spot to even put this is going to be right there. Uh, or we move this shelf down and put it right there in the middle. That's the only two spots I can honestly think to put it. Uh, so... Which is really annoying because I feel like I just perfected this wall. You know, getting the way I have it, like three ECC lines with bust in one thirds. I feel like it's freaking perfect right now. And I really hate to break this up. I even really like how my Terminator looks. You know, once I get a one third Arnold, I feel like it's, it's pretty much solid. If I get a one third Endo down there, it'd look even better. Granted, the Cinema Cat, you know, it's a 10 year old one and it goes for a ridiculous amount of money so i just need to wait for a new one but if i'm gonna get the t800 life size this is where i'd put it of course that means i need to move arnold over there next to it because that's where my terminator setup would be and i would have to completely remove pan's labyrinth or blade and move them right here you know do like pale man and fawn bust in one third or blade trinity and the two blades Although, I think I still couldn't fit Pans and Underworld and Terminator. So, I think, if anything, I still have to move Drake down low and just do Blade in that corner. And then Underworld. Underworld ending right here. And then right here would be Arnold Busts, Arnold one-third. Probably just get the T-1000 one-third and the life-size Endo. So, it's definitely breaking up some... Well, I would consider some really good displays, and it's, I just, I don't own any true life-size, like, six-foot-tall statues. Yeah, I have my Gremlins, which are life-size, Chucky, Annabelle. I got, like, 40 life-size busts. Those are different, though. They don't take up six feet of space, you know, an entire garage shelf worth. So, you got a question, what is better, one garage shelf like this or a life-size endoskeleton, which will have crazy cool presents? So, I want to show you some photos. So, first off, this is the endoskeleton. And these women are in the high hills, by the way. But there it is. As you can see, this thing is massive. So, it holds two guns. They're both, like, adjustable. You can adjust it down or up. So, lots of uh, display options. The head can be turned. So, really cool. And then this is more or less how I do it. So we'd have to also move Khaleesi and probably do her back where she was next to the TV, which means moving Red Sonia, probably next to just Ghostface. 
And then this is how this would look. Now, this aside, I think this looks better than what I see here. However, that endoskeleton would be extremely cool. No doubt. It would be a showstopper, something that would definitely be amazing. You know, absolutely outstanding. One of the best statues in my collection. Now, for the most part, I've never been a huge fan of life-size statues. And I've seen a few endos in person. You know, my buddy had the version one. It didn't blow me away or anything. I haven't seen version two in real life. But I've seen tons of Iron Mans and other life-size statues. And they never blew me away or even... You know, I didn't even consider buying one, but if I've always told myself if I could ever got one life size, it'd be the endoskeleton because I think it looks the coolest. So now's my opportunity. It's just the question of, do we get it? And I wanted to get your guys' thoughts and opinions on this. And anyone who owns it, do you think it would work good right here? Or if we move this garage shelf down and put it right here? Or I just don't know if I want to break up this display and cost me a lot more problems. In addition, it's still $7,000. It's a lot of money, and I'm going to have to sell multiple statues to afford this. We'll have to sell Caesar bust. I'll have to sell my endoskeleton busts. I may even have to sell Drake bust to afford this thing. It's so expensive, and I just don't know if it's worth sacrificing perfect displays, breaking things up, and I can just wait for a one-third endo which will eventually probably be made by, like, Queen or Prime One someday. But the life size is definitely super sick looking. But two of my statue buddies said, don't do it, you know, that I talk about my display with. And another one said I should get it, and it'll be the best piece of my collection. So I need to make a decision immediately, because uh, obviously my uh, seller wants me to pay for this. So... Uh, as much as it hurts me to talk to you guys with my sickness, I did want to get your guys' opinions and what you think if I should break up this, well, I'm considering like a perfect display right now to go ahead and get the life-size endo. One part of me says absolutely, the other part's like no. Because uh, not only is it A, going to be a hassle to display, B, the boxes, it's five boxes, massive boxes. I don't even have that space in my garage, goodness. So that'll be a pain in the butt. And if I ever need to resell it, it'll be a pain in the butt to resell a life-size statue. Just the shipping cost alone will be astronomical. Finding a buyer, it's a very limited buyer's market for such expensive pieces. So there's definitely pros and cons uh, of me getting this. But I wanted to get your guys' opinion. So let me know what you think in the comments below. If you think I should get the life-size endo or just pass and wait for a one-third and keep the display as is. Uh, so I did get a Pan's Labyrinth poster and I did get the uh, Myers base, but my Myers doesn't fit in it. So I need to like uh, do something. He's not going down all the way. But my head has just been spinning since I've been home. So I'm just not willing to do anything until I feel better. But... Anyways, folks, that is it for today's video. Let me know if you think I should pick it up or just pass. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.